looks cool, eh? Yeah. Classic brakes. Yeah. That Ooh. looks really nice. Yeah, right on. Get all you uh, Go get trips. Different than what I've been working on, but Go get those are wide, hey? Yeah, those big yeah. The brakes yeah. are wide yeah. track if the rest of it They're is. They're like <laughs> wagon brakes or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Hey Trev. Where's Trev? Hey Trev. Oh, you gonna come over and say hi? Oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, Trev. <laughs> <You're an idiot. laughs> Hi guys. Well, that's some happy dogs. Well, one happy dog anyway. One dog is slightly annoyed. Well, trying to get brake cam kind of failing. Oh yeah. Okay, give me that pin. Yeah, and you done the lines already? Yep. Oh, nice. Lines are all done. Wheel cylinders all hooked up. Alright, so we had a failure on the hone, so now I've contrived some way of holding sandpaper here. There we go. The stones, turns out they were glued on with glue. That was easily dissolved by the fluid I was using to hone with. So, whatever. A little sandpaper instead. Just the very lightest clean. We're not trying to remove anything but dirt and glaze. This is working okay. Looks pretty inside then. Let's have a look. Yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks really good. nice. Needs a little more at the bottom at the front. You see it just right here? Yeah. That, uh, Touch more? This right there, yeah. All right, let's see how the Arctic Break uh, mission is going here. <laughs> Look at that. Looks, Looks so, so good. nice, eh? So the reason the drum's off is they're going in for machining. It's not like we forgot. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice thing. Usually those are uh, later ones that's all riveted together, so mm. it's a nice touch. Okay. I just love those tires, man. That's the oh, oldest radials. Oldest radials in town. Oh, you gotta go up. Okay, hang on. Oh, no, no, just enough. Good. Hey, all the fellows who worked at Sears Auto Center back in the 70s, they're all getting all misty eyed now. <laughs> hey. Look at that baby. <laughs> My Ukrainian friends, their parents would call this, we're going to the Sear. The seer. The seer. Or the zeller. But not the <laughs> zellers. Stratoch. It's like the skein. The skein, right? <laughs> the B and I are broke off. <laughs> Unbelievable fucking bastard. Right? <laughs> There. Come one with the earth. It's a nice little bucket. I don't know where I found it. Worked out great for this job. Oh yeah, Tom found it. It used to yeah. be for holding stuff, but it broke. So now it's just for, for things that are bigger than water molecules. <laughs> but I love the look of that tire. It's nice. Huge. That's a big old that probably old come size. off like an old 98 or something. Yeah. yeah it's all old like size. Well, that and the huge brakes. Yeah, 11 by 2 and 3 quarter. Yeah, that's a, that's that's a, a big... For a Canadian uh, farmer car standard. 
Much bigger than the slant six brakes that were on the Coronet. Ten by Until two. very recently. Yeah, it's <laughs> There's a car with the horsepower to brake power ratio is a little bit out. <laughs> Al called it. It's humid. It's what the old people call the damp cold. Yes. It's no fun. My hands are numb just from holding the camera. Okay. Down she goes. Yes. Isn't it amazing how many cars can be saved with just some routine repairs? Is it? Like I so many cars. I surprise myself sometimes. Like, you got pretty lucky on that engine though. I mean, yeah. to Probably. not... To not have to build an engine, I mean, you're gonna anyway. I guess that's kind of a waste. Maybe, you. but from its initial fire to what it is today. Oh yeah, today. yeah. Well, and we're literally another what, a af couple afternoons away from like legit driver car. Yeah, brakes, runner, driver, vacuumer. Vacuum. Oh, <laughs> vacuum. She needs a bit it's of a detailing all. inside, eh? Are you gonna Everything rip the headliner out? I don't think so for now. I'll just run a vacuum into those mouse holes and yeah, you know, see that how you shit can do. But At least it'll be something for now. <laughs> Get a little spray foam, fill the hole, you know, patch it over, kind of nice. <laughs> I don't hate that, yeah. Well, it'll be warmer than Newport. It will be. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, once we do uh, gas tank and brakes, then we look at the heater core. Yeah, it's cold. It blows cold air. So, yeah. Can you get out from under the hood? You got to pull the inner fender out on the passenger side. Oh, right. And then you can get at it. That's a bit of a job. Those it's inner fenders are not ass. friendly. We'll be busting bolts, I'm sure. Oh, on clips and everything, and clip, yeah. stripping stuff and ripping the edge of the right. fender off. We're like, yeah, I know it goes. <laughs> but I got, I ordered a fender kit for the Fury, nut and bolt, oh, yeah. and clips yeah. and bolts. So yeah. I'll have the Fury extras. Leftovers, we'll yeah. Slap over here. And yeah. Don't let the don't let the Pontiac Club hear that. <laughs> <laughs> or the Mopar Club. <laughs> yeah, either one of them, eh? Yeah, that's right. Both be pissed Thou shalt me. not. <laughs> so you actually... Of course, we should have known this was coming. He that's cool. is for pausing. Really? Oh. oh, and there's the clutches in there. Have you ever been inside a Mopar 8 3 quarter with a pause, with a shoulder? No, no. Identical unit. Identical. Oh yeah? So Clutch like type. identical like as in made by the same people? I would or I just design so. Like maybe they're made by Dana and Dana supplied both makers. Right. Is that 370? 355. Oh okay. For 11 37. Oh well that's 37 divided by 11. Like there's paint inside here. So was the housing painted before it was built? See the red? Well this is red. Oh. Sorry, what model of differential did you say this was? 8.2. They 8 ran these dips in GM bodies from 58 to 64. What's cool, like this is how my What's buddy... What's cool is it came out of a much more valuable car. Oh, oh yeah, that's sad. That's, <laughs> that is if sad. anything, yeah, it's yeah. sad. Convertible. There's a part number in there. Really? Gas number, sure. But what surprised me is seeing red paint on here and what looks to be either green primer coming off if I went too deep or maybe yellow inspection marks there. I honestly could not help you there. Oh, so you think that the whole outside may have been red at one time? Possibly. I don't yeah. think the car was red, so there's no reason no. why the oh, no. would have been If that's red. red paint, can we put something on it so we can see? There. Is that actually red? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's bright red. Yeah, that's what I think too. It used to be bright red, now she's faded. Yeah. Oh, I bet you, I bet you it always was bright red then. And Probably bright red from new. How strange. Yeah. And maybe they painted the posies red. You think? Yeah. Yeah. Just, well, I see. Sporty. Flashy. Just uh, easy, just to differentiate them from the, get it? Differential joke. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fine, I'll edit that part out. Okay. Well, there we are. Now that she's all cleaned out, I'm just going to, what are we doing? I don't even know. I'm going to hammer the seals back in it. Got my little kit here. Just lined up everything as it came out of the old one. You know, not too tricky. This old stuff's pretty fun, pretty easy. I was going to save this clip, but it looks like they sent me a new one. So, right on. And then we just have to clean up this uh, plunger unit here. 
that all has to be reused except for the boot. So we'll clean that up as soon as we get this roughed together. And there we are. That was a fun thing to rebuild and not, oops, not difficult until you try and do it with one hand and hold the camera with your glasses off. Got a new gasket here. Looks like you fill it through there. So took that apart, cleaned that all up. There's a little breather vent kind of situation there. And that's probably what allowed it all to evaporate. Nevertheless, everything looking good. I put a little bit of fluid in it just to assemble it, but that's just so it's just not dry. So we'll uh, put this back in the car, hook up the clutch and the brake and the springs and all that shit. And uh, at some point we got to figure out how we're going to clean the brake lines so that will be before any of this gets actually hooked up but that's a really nice uh, start and you can see oops, can we make it work here there we go sounds good looks good let's just assume it's good okay uh, what's next Oh, I gotta put the... Oh, shit. I was supposed to put that on first. Okay, there we have it. Cool. That's ready to go back in. This was pretty tight on the shaft there, but even just cleaning it has loosened it up uh, plenty. So we're just gonna put a drop of oil on each side of that, and that can go back in. Should be good for another 100 years. I love this kind of stuff. I just love stuff that's well made. Look at that. How good all these things used to be. Well, are you going to have to run it off? Are you running it off? No, you're running it off a uh, jerry can. Jerry, right now. jerry now. I'd really like to get that thing dropped. I guess I should block the front wheels and stuff, eh? I'm getting ahead of myself. Well, no, it ain't going to go anywhere. Well, it will. Are you going to put it on stands once it's Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I mean, that move. This one does. Get that block or that jack on it. Who told me to buy a new car in the winter though, right? Yeah, this, well, buying them's okay. Yeah, but by, by spring you'll have this thing running. That's right. <laughs> spring. <laughs> and this is on like a two-weeker, I think, and then she'll be going down the road. Yeah, just a quick refurb. I think. Have you seen Justin around lately? I saw him on the weekend, yeah. 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 I saw him at Jim's. It was his uh, Jim's birthday. So oh, yeah. Justin was there. Yeah. Freaks part two, hey? Part two. Part two. I should check to see if there's a pee on the housing before we pull it apart, eh? Oh, yeah. Don't change it if you don't have to. Maybe it's red? Yeah. If there is, I would be extremely surprised. What? If it's got a pause attraction differential in it. <laughs> well, the shocks were red once. Shocks were red many years ago. <laughs> Need some more height on that? I might have to jack the side just to uh, yeah, that's okay. clearance the tires out. Those are big tires. Slip right under there, Tom, like a skating uh, rink. Well, yeah. Slide right. in, slide out. <laughs> you're sliding around. You don't need a creeper today. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, you you got an impact and everything, or is that no, all in the shop? No, that's not. Yeah. Right. Probably inside. Yeah, yeah, let's have a look. What's going on? Having success? Yeah. Oh, already. If you don't slow down, you're going to be driving this thing home yet. Please. That's right. Drive it home later. <laughs> oh, you see the big hunk of foam that somebody put in here? That's nice. Oh, is there? Nice touch. Yeah. Save it. We'll use it on the new port. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a handy chunk of universal fit foam. Don't break them, though. They can take a hit. I hope so. Yeah. Come off easy, huh? Well, that's how they're supposed to come off. Well, I know. When With that dry. Chevy there, I had to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this car. Oh. Like, well, that was sat for 50 years. Yeah, that car was pretty oh. rotten. Yeah. That doesn't look too bad. A couple little bridges, but. No, it'll be fine. Yeah. Those Give are it fine. a little clean up. Oh, well, again, pretty heavy duty brakes for such a light car. Right? 11 by 2s on the back. Yeah. 
with only a six in there, how fast did they really get no, going, it's right? it's not going to give any trouble, yeah. Exactly. Oh, oh, yeah, they're so. down to one percent, but that's okay. She's next to metal? Yeah. Yeah. No, there's she's just like a paper thickness of... <laughs> Oh, that's good. Time, somebody, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, somebody you got their use out of those. So now what? You got, uh, now we pull all the shit off. Yeah. Get take your bucket. Take, take a quick photograph. Assuming it was put together right last time. Another fun afternoon of brakes. I'm going to do brakes on the 37 here. Uh, I'm going to start by pulling the front apart. Uh, I'm going to retorque the head today. We've been going around retorquing and tightening everything after our quick break in there and uh, of course everything is loosened off considerably so uh, doing the head uh, Miles brought me his nice torque wrench and somehow I had one I don't know where the hell it went so anyway puppy dog very excited today yeah all your friends are here that's good beautiful day Gotta be beer time somewhere. What's up, buddy? Hey there. And just finishing up the last the time polishing your nuts. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I thought, doing, I thought you were doing them first. It's like your priorities are messed up. Yeah, no. There we go. Oh, you're all done. Done. Yeah. Sweet. Well, I uh, reached a point where I needed to take a break. Yeah, I could do that too. And then That's I'm going to tear into these guys. And hopefully by then Dean is here and I can make him do it. <laughs> All the shit. Yeah, Ash can't make it today, so we're shit working on our own, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ash, where are you, buddy? Yeah, Ash, get over here. Oh, well, <laughs> he's putting his van together, so we can't really argue with that. No, no, he's a working man. Hey, guys, welcome to Dean's Deep Freeze Beater Debrief. Cold's mobile, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah. Oh wow, they got to stick the gas door stuck. Oh yeah, do you have enough gas? Yeah, I got a cooler thing. Gas door is uh... There's another problem enough to worry about for two more days. It's stuck? Yeah. Frozen down or what? Yeah, well it was stuck earlier, but I got set. <laughs> Why is it so bottomed out, man? Oh, because it's probably... How much shit's in it? A little bit, man. I should probably empty it more. There's a bit of stuff in it still, but it's pretty... Pretty, it's pretty bottom day. Eh? Mono leave time. <laughs> He's a bit of a yeah. I hear you got warmth today. Yeah, the heat's working good. Yeah, good. I, I opened up a flapper in the dash and yeah, you just actually, screwed something open. Fucking go she, for it. Yeah, she it has to warm up a bit, but it does oh, actually good. get warm inside now. Oh well, then who cares yeah, about man. anything else? Good. Well, let's warm, warm it up and sit inside. Get her nice. Sure, man. Thanks. We had good success today. We've got lots of little fun little parts to play with now. Yeah, perhaps. Oh, let's it's see. a level one tidy, you know? Yeah. You know, oh, great. Level Thanks, one. man. It's kind of not perfect, but yeah, it started too. Great. Okay. Well, I will. Uh, yeah, man. Next time we see this, I'll have the drums done and we'll put the front back together. Yeah, I bet you will too, yeah. And, okay. and then we'll let the car down. Okay. I don't know. Are we putting all those shields? Remember all the shields you cleaned? Those have to go back in. Mm, they do have to go. Are we putting those in before we put the car on the ground? Yeah. Oh, those are a pain. Yeah, yeah I know. I know. Okay. That can be me and you then. You took them out. You got to put them back in. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I, I just make up the rules as I go. I, I, don't. I remember them though, yeah. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to hold on to all these old pieces. Mm -hmm. And if someday it's necessary, these can be, uh, these can be relined. Oh, that's quite a system, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. So we have so. to take all this apart. Yeah, we do. We bought this empty cloth for the cylinders and... Oh, yeah. We but never got we onto never those yet. Onto that after it's because you got a job. you got to go to work. Oh, hey. no, yeah, well, that's true, but... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fine. That's we'll do them next time. I'll have all this cleaned up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This yeah, is just grunt work it, now. Yeah. Just grunt work now. Cool. Right on. And I got all the kits. I mean, we had some progress tonight. Absolutely progress. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. What a good time. I love working on this. Did you notice nothing was rusted? 
Like really the brake lines came off even. The That's just shape. a treat. It's just like... Yeah, no, no I really love it. Yeah. That just adds a bunch of time. Cough, Pontiac guy outside, hey? Miles, <laughs> Miles yeah. Rusty old poncho. Uh, it's kind of a nice car though. Yeah, it is. It's cool as hell. Yeah, it's cool. Are okay. you going to come over again sometime? Yeah, what? yeah, I'll come over, buddy. I'm Done gonna, being I'm sick? Gonna... Hitting the trail? I was sick. Yeah, shit, buddy. It, uh, I'll hit the trail. Man's in the house, right? Yeah, that's right. Take the cold home. Take the cold Z. <laughs> Have a cold one. Have a cold. God is my cold pilot. <laughs> 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 or is he the pilot? Because who knows? I'm not in yeah, control. Who knows, man. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, doing a thorough job of the old windows there. Good job. <laughs> All right. Know, Delay get, wiper. I can see they're getting Ta warm. Twilight Town Time Sentinel. She's not warm yet, but she did get warm. I know she's gonna get warm soon here. Soon Except here. <laughs> by One the time day. I get home, it'll be warm. <laughs> <laughs> see you later, buddy. Yeah. We are back in the old Newport, and that means that we are headed to Bruderheim. It's another cold, miserable winter day, so I'm going to escape out to Matt and Jim's at Strong Scratch, and we're going to have some fun. Got a couple of projects that they have just the tools for, uh, and we'll uh, we'll catch up with Matt and Jim when we get there, and hopefully get them to explain a little bit about what's going on. Uh, the top secret project is Model T Performance. Ready to go? Yeah? Okay, let's go. Okay, and we're back at my favorite place that's not my own place. Pretty sweet. Oh, and look who's got beater action. Nice. You gotta have the uh, midday starting ritual with those old Mercedes. Okay, we're at the shop. I'm gonna get Jim to walk us through what we've been up to here, or rather what they've been up to. What do you got going for me here? I guess I should preface this with, we're going to build an engine for my Model T, and rather than rebuild the one that's in it, because it's actually still running fine, and I was looking at it, and like, if you started taking that engine apart, you're not gonna save anything. No, no, like, no. It's so it's... worn out that there's nothing to save. So we thought, since it still to... runs good, why don't we build one on a stand, and then we'll just swap it out, and I'll keep the other one Your as it is. Downtime turns to zero. Yeah, right. Which is so, a wonderful thing. What we've got here is a very good, very nice block, block used. Yeah. Going on <laughs> Funny enough, you can't old. get them new anymore. Already bored 60 over when we bought it. Yeah. Press so four. good. And uh, uh, you guys sent it out and had new Babbitt done. Yeah, the Babbitt poured. And we had it poured, so you can see how raunchy that looks. So today's job is to try to uh, bore all this out to fit the crank, which we'll have a look at in a minute here. Yeah. What do we know about these? You got three main bearings. Yeah, three main. The rear one and takes your thrust. The thrust is just on the cap, eh? Yeah. Just the cap. Just the cap? Yeah. Really? I was uh, under the mistaken impression that Babbitt was lead and tin, and it's tin, antimony, and copper. And copper. Interesting. And that's always been that way. Yep, yeah, Ford's for sure. Ford was always that. And then so. uh, yeah, we Derek poured all this for us, and then Derek lent us a bunch of the stuff we don't have yet, which we're looking for. Oh, like, cool! This is a thrust cutter, so at the end we'll set this oh, okay. and we'll cut yeah. the thrust. And right on. Well, we'll just say we thanks to Derek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's stuff. great. And that's some of it. <clears throat> we got that machine from him, and some of the right. stuff. Right. Okay. Water. When the Babbitt is poured, it's finished flush with the block, so you actually end up with a couple of thou gap in between the top and bottom when you put the shims in. Is that I can actually show you what the mold looks like. I have one for a Model A, but I don't have one for a T. Yeah, I'd love to have a yeah, look. So Let's have a quick look. Yeah, sure. So this is a Model A, though. Okay. But this is a mold 
so this goes like this babbit would be out of here. So okay. You melt all this out. Yeah. This mold goes in like so. Okay. Oh, you got one there, yeah. yeah. Then this has the thrust in it, see? So oh, when this wow. goes on like this. Like that. Bang, okay. Bang. And like then that. these slide bang. up to bang, bang. the shoulders there. Bang, okay. bang, like that. And then you just pour in this well. There's like a little thing you yeah. put Yeah. Do you have to preheat this? Oh, yeah, I heat the block. And then so you heat, heat everything up so it tins. Do you tin it? Yep. Yep, that gets so you tin it. it as a separate process and then put all this together yep. and then you pour it in somehow yep. with a little funnel or what? There's a ladle. I can grab it. Come on, we'll get the ladles and show you. Oh yeah. One ladle on each side. You just... Really? Yeah, man. Okay. Oh, I guess there's a little more room because you'd have the old bearings out, right? Yeah. yeah. This is for Model A yeah, only? This is Model A only, this one. Okay. This is yeah. Wilson, the real, uh, real really? machine. And here's a B model block for uh, okay. comparison. That's Two ladles, one on each side, and you just yeah. pour it in like that. And cool. Let her cool, and this one does the back one too. You pour the cap separate, and then you put them together and line board. And there you go. Bearings yeah. and Yeah, on to the next one. Yeah. It's cool. Jim, what's with this Continental? I thought hey? you'd be driving this already. Oh yeah, no, no, I just... Ah, uh, oh, damn it. I, don't, I try not to be jealous, but I just fail. I'm weak. Oh yeah, weak, hey? <laughs> I've been amassing things for it. So yeah? I uh, reach a state of... Uh, oh yeah, pieces and brakes and... Oh yeah, wiring harnesses and oh, yeah. brakes and... Unreal. Things. That's good, because you got nothing to do, so... Right, but I didn't blow it apart yet. Nope, that's right. No, you don't even need to. No, no, I think a couple I'm just of touch ups. It, hit it with uh, some just, shoe polish and uh, just drive it. I just can't get over how awesome it Freight is. Great car. And here's the. This motor was all apart last time we were here. What a beauty. You gonna fire it for me? Hey, well, hey, watch this. Yeah, it's <laughs> Just lovely. Yeah, it turned out cool. And so, is this a 239? It was. It's a 276 now. Okay, so it's stroked? Yeah, four inch mercury crank and then it's poured over, so it's 276 cubic. 276, inch. man. That's lovely. And what have you got on here? Uh, Stromberg 97s. Yeah, very nice. Nice. Oh. So we just got a, we just got it running the other day again, finally, so finish the rest of it. And Give it one more tune. Once it gets warm enough, we can test drive it, and it'll be. Yeah, yeah that'll be a terrible day. Yeah. I'll <laughs> uh, oh, probably waste enough of your guys' time. What do we come here to do? I don't know. I could just wander around all day. Right. So. That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the yeah. says I do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Jim's model eight. Jim's, Jim's model eight. Just about done. <laughs> yeah, almost. Finished. It's real. Got the rear end lined up with the frame. Right? That's what yeah, you got her lined up there. Ready. Yeah, the steering column to go in, body to go on, and yeah. Okay, here's the machine that uh, we're going to use to bore the uh, main bearings on the T engine. So Matt and Jim are just bringing it over and just a fantastic machine. Maybe we'll have a closer look here. Excuse this uh, plated fasteners here. We've yet to <laughs> yeah, right. get our uh, we yeah, that's right. bolts. Yeah, we just uh, bolts yet. like I was saying earlier about Derek, who did the Babbitt pouring here. He uh, he's a K.R. Wilson tool collector as well, mm -hmm. and he had a surplus, so we made a deal. I mean, we don't have everything, so this is his plate yet. We're still looking for a Model T one. We have the stuff for the new Model A's. Okay, so they had different plates that yeah. you would buy for whatever engines yeah. you were doing. A T and V eight have all different ones. This oh, is just a Ford machine. Yeah. Oh, is it Ford yeah, machine? This is just oh, okay. Ford. This is like would have been in the dealership back in the oh, all right. Model yeah. T days. But that stuff would be done on our other machine. Oh, of course. Of course, you've got the yeah. other machine. Yes. We just thought this would be fun to do with this one because it's a Model T tool. Specific, yeah. Yeah, Kara Wilson tooling. Like I said, it was all dealership tools. We collect the other stuff of it and always yeah. thought. 
thought this would be neat to have one of these. You're limited with them originally because they use a reamer. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the reamer for the right size, you can't do it. So we've, we're trying this. It's the first time that we've, Dad made this special cutter mm -hmm. that hopefully will make it so you can use a single point cutter on this. Mm -hmm. You can use a single point cutter on that style because it mm -hmm. feeds hydraulically and you can adjust. The speed is not coupled to the RPM mm -hmm. where, because this feeds the thread. Right. The, RP, the speed is, you can't uncouple it. Right, like if you could right. feed this slower, then well, that's a better. pretty fine thread. Yeah, yeah but it's still, but it's still a little it too fast. It just cuts that thread. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 So, oh, I see. But that's why you've made these big flat cutters. Oh, we've yes. tried. Dad yeah. made these for us, so we're going to so, give that a spin. Sounds. Uh, yeah, that's the beauty of Babbitt's is that if anything goes awry, you just. Was this board again? Yeah, board again. Board again. Board again. But yeah. uh, board again, Johnny. It's a cool tool, but yeah, Derek has. We've traded some tools back and forth over the years, and boy, oh boy, these tools are getting hard to find. There's a whole bunch of guys that collected it at one time, and then they all died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and cool. uh, this is how you engage yeah, you the just, feed. Uh, it's like a half nut. Bang, it's feeding. Bang, it's not. Yeah. You know? You can see the cam in there. It's really cool how it works, too. There's like a, I took it apart. And this will also use to run in the, the, the engine block when the time comes. Mm-hmm. You can... Uh, oh, you can hook it up you, to the crank and just spin it in there? You put these two pins in the crank, and then you just, oh. we'll put our time saver in there, and... Oh, fantastic. Oh, I'm excited and uh, happy to be the guinea pig here. <laughs> All right. Well, Rarely people say that. <laughs> <laughs> this is it's just proof. a giant jig. Yes. And a very conventional... Uh, what it is, is very fast. Because like with this line boring fixture, which we have... If you're doing anything other than what we have the fixture to set it, you have to set it all. Right, you gotta jig it up every time. Because yeah. this yeah. is all the, what you have. This is all centered off the camshaft. Yeah. Okay. That's what this stuff is all centered off the cam. Yeah. Same as the Model A one, and uh, you can center it off the cam on anything. We did it on Dad's other mill. Oh, for sure. But this yeah. was made so that any garageman could learn how to do this job, and you could just bang on it. Right, right. Tea. And if you were doing teas in a dealership, you, there would be dozens of them. Oh yeah. Or at all times, yeah, and yeah. you would be using this thing. All and like I know people say they're not as accurate sometimes and everything else, but you know what? And it hits and it'll the tolerance be fine. of the day. Like it's, it, you that's could build the thing. It's a space shuttle tolerance, but yeah. it's irrelevant. It's yeah. irrelevant. It's still yeah. Absolutely. You know what? They were thirty bucks or twenty-two bucks on exchange or whatever. Yeah. Like. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then you could do it so fast. If you did this, and you could build a full engine in a, in a day. Mm-hmm. You know, which well, is cool. let's go. <laughs> Many days later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, let's put the plate on. So, like I said, everything okay. centers off false the cam. cam. So we got this false cam. Okay. So this is a T cam, and because it's got two different sizes, so what happens on a T? There's a bushing that goes in here mm -hmm. after the fact for our, for our proper cam. Mm -hmm. But this thing centers off that. This is a just for comparison's sake. We've got a Model A false cam, which has got substantially bigger falseness. Oh wow! See? Yeah, that thing's incredibly false. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's total bullshit. <laughs> That's the false. <laughs> so anyway, it centers off the camera. It's pretty cool. Okay. All right, looks false. Yeah, it's pretty Oh, good we got to lose those. those. These are as early as this one will be inked in there. And we're back. <laughs> yeah, and we're back. Make sure you take these out. <laughs> uh, too much going on today. Oh, yeah, these yeah. are what hold it in, see? Yeah. Sorry. Whoever was stripping the squawk should be oh, fired. There it is. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There we are. Okay. It's false. Falsely yeah. installed. Yeah. Okay. So now this plate, you see, touches up against the false cam. That's yeah. what centers it. Oh, that indexes it. Yeah, because your very critical measurement is your distance between the cam and the crank. Oh, those because gears, of the gears. Yeah, right? yeah, okay. So, this runner in here. And it's got this Tighten that little, little baby up. set screw here that brings this thing up. And uh, oh, we'll have to get a couple, couple bolts things. in there lined up. With all these ones. Two, let's get it from your way. Right. Oh, it's touching the cam. Yeah, that's it will soon become cool. very obvious. Yeah, okay, very so, uh, so it doesn't rely on these other than to hold it clamped. It just, just yeah, that just clamps it. it. Yeah, okay. And I can get this one through. There we go. So there's just one of these or two? Just one. Okay. And then we just wiggle this up, you see? Right, until and it bottoms out on there. Tight. And now we can tighten and Now you tighten right. these. Yeah. Huh. Nice. Centered. 
Yeah, so then, because that's machine, so that hits your distance there. And how do and then we... it's touched off there. Oh, and this way is well, just, just the off bolts. the bolts. Yeah, so which is irrelevant. Which irrelevant. is not as important, no. right? Because you face that separately in a yeah, separate yeah, project? Out, okay. Out of the thing. A separate, uh, a separate process. Yeah. Well, I was uh, pretty amused when I took the front of my engine apart. Literally, yeah. I could take the cam and move it up and down like this. Yeah, it's like wore it's wore out. <laughs> you know, I, that's when we were talking, and I was like, "Why don't we just make a whole new one from scratch?" Yeah. Or rather, why don't you make one <laughs> <laughs> and I'll bolt it in because I can probably manage that. I'll drive the thing out here, yeah. and we'll Good. swap them, and I'll drive it home. I'll Ooh, I'll time myself good. each way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See how much faster she is. Hey. Well, and I can have a testimonial up at the front. I knocked 20 minutes off my commute with <laughs> Strong's I Garage. Take the big hill. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I went to the 7-Eleven on Baseline <laughs> all by myself. Okay. Right now, the valve seats are already done on this big. Yeah, everything's done. It's now. a nice, yeah. Guys are yeah. Done. Yeah. nice, nice finish Guys on that. Guys are rebuilt. Oh, yeah. They're all fitted. So. Yeah. So you got valves for it? Yeah, everything. Good. We just assemble it once we get this part done. We yeah. Got, transmission's already built. We just got to reassemble it. So. Nice. So then this little bar goes through this way. And this is the boring this bar. This is the cutting bar. So I've read and heard about guys talking about scraping the bearings. Is that like a finishing process or is that just something that's no longer done? Or no, is you, that just... you, you scrape your bearings yeah, to get very finishing, finishing stuff. Yeah, but like a bar and it would just kind oh, of go in there. Yeah, yeah, it's right on the table right over there, Jim. This came from the old Ford Grads too, TN on there, see? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. This stuff all did this work. Beautiful, yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, that's a treat. So the other thing we got to do now is you gotta measure your crank. Measure our crank. It's one two thirty. Okay. Turn to one two thirty. So here, can we just hold it up so we can look at those, eh? So <laughs> I was saying earlier, once you've seen the crank for these cars, it's easy to keep the revs down. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no counterbalancing. Nope. And not originally. You can get counterbalance cranks. What, inch? Oh, one point two, two, two five three. Oh, originally. But one, now okay, it's two, so three. it's twenty under. Yeah. And uh, that's about. You, are you saying they make counterbalance cranks? Yeah, now? yeah, Scat makes them. Oh, yeah. And you used to I think. Uh, but then you lose all the wonderful shaking. <laughs> <laughs> the That's fantastic. Wheel. It's, it's in lovely thing. condition, yeah. and and you uh, check them for. Uh, wow, well, you can. Magnify and the steel them. is of absolutely Vanadium. the best quality. Yeah. But if you can check the crank on the Model T, if it buzzes. It rings so we're good, and if it buzzes, it's cracked. Oh, okay. I mean, there's, you can magnum flux it too, but in the but old that's, days, that's all they used to do. Yeah. yeah. What's the running clearance on the bearings? One and Two thousand? One and a half? Okay. Yeah. They're quite Pretty tight. amazing that they could maintain that kind of yeah. tolerances on uh, something that they made 15 million of and just let anybody and their dog have one. And how many engines do you think they made? Yeah. Well, mm, some probably. guys like you didn't maintain that clearance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> well, that was me. They yeah. wanted the... <laughs> no, I, uh, oh, no I, I gauged my rods. I never checked the crank. Perfect. The crank moves back and forth, but it doesn't move up and down too much, I don't think. Too much. <laughs> Are you excited too? Oh, that's very good. Uh, if you guys are going to turn that on, I'll put her in the, yeah, in the we'll car. Oh, yeah, yeah. Two minutes okay, here. come here, puppies. Yep, good girl. <laughs> Here we go. Are we ready, Jim? Yeah. Hit her. Ready? Feed her. Engage. All right. <clears throat> well, chips are moving. Chips are coming out.
Oh, this is just 40 thou. Take two. Take two. Take two. Still not touching on the top here. Yeah, it's got a lot of must to go. have uh, must have shifted it. Core shift, yeah. Are we gonna have enough? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh sorry. well then whatever, right? Yeah. As long as you got enough, it doesn't matter. All right. And here we are. Uh, what are we, Jim? Now we're about five thou from finished or ten? Uh, Eleven thou. From Eleven finished. thou from finished or from on size? Uh, from on size. Yes. Okay. So we've still got uh, some neat. Yeah, it's looking really nice. It's got a nice smooth finish. Looks great. So, no flaws in the yeah, Babbitt at all. It looks really yeah. good. Yeah. Gorgeous. Really cool. you see is just from pulling the tool out so we've got a couple more what do you think we've got another five to five five to five eight thou on the last cut and then uh then what just polish it in there yeah, yeah we'll burnish it burnish it in with the crank uh so that'll be next time we're back uh and, and some rods oh we'll do the rods let's, and then, uh, let's see, have a look at one of these rods here never seen a model t rod that's what they look like uh Pretty cool, and of course, same process in here. I'd use uh, you got different. Oh, this is the machine for the rods. Yeah, yeah. It was like, Where's your rod? It's right in front of me. There we go. Yeah. So they kind of go, they're indexed, you know, thusly. I'm sure we'll get the proper explanation. Yeah, we gotta make a few parts for that. Thing. Couple little bits to yeah. make there, salvaging all this old stuff. Yeah, and there's a yeah, rod cap. cap there. Pretty excited about that rod machine, though. That's cool. It's gonna be cool. 
We can do any rod in the world now. That's right. Mm -hmm. Small block Chevy. Yeah, hey, you're right. Proper, proper, proper rod shop. Rod shop. The rod shop. <laughs> Supply chain shortage will be able That's to. That's right. Not a problem. That's right. People will be lined up here to get their Camry rods rebabbited. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's what it'll take. It'll be there. Toyota won't sell any parts anymore. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Bring it on down. There's <laughs> <laughs> no different than a Camry block. Yeah, it's the same size. It's yeah, lighter right. they are. Well, you could just build these and put them in Camry. Converting right. Camrys to flathead. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be awesome. Well, thank you so much, guys. You what bet. a fun afternoon of uh, messing around with hundred year old stuff to fix your hundred year old stuff. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> In a nutshell. That is awesome. So, what yeah, a fun old excited. tool. What a yeah. cool old thing, yeah. So, yeah. so we, a big worm looking, drive in there. Yeah, just a yeah, worm just drive. A big worm gear in there. Yeah. And then uh like I said the half and the, I love the little clutch there. That's we cool. this here is borrowed equipment, but this thing we got from Derek, but this mm -hmm. is borrowed equipment. Okay. But you know so what? You're keeping an eye out for one of these. Yeah. Anybody got one, you let us know. And the plate. And the plate. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. specific to T's. Yeah, T. Okay. Fantastic. And everything else in the world. And yeah, what's, right? uh, what's next? Oh, let's uh, touch up my brake shoes. Let's do your brake shoes. Yeah. Real yeah. quick. Yeah, all right. Oh, I see you there. Yes. Hit that car. 11.0. <laughs> They're literally zero wear. That's nice. Don't get no better. Don't get no better. It's almost like they're... They're brand new. So you, so you think that somebody did the brake because even with 30,000 miles... No, somebody miles, did the brake. Somebody yeah. did the brake. Those aren't the original, original shoes. They're not marked GM or nothing. Right. Oh, so this is the tool. This is the Arker. So we got it set for zero, zero, which is rare. <laughs> so, so we're set to 11, 11 inch. 11 inch, yeah. Okay. And then you grind your shoe 30 under actual drum diameter. So okay. You back it out so you 30, go to... 170 here. Okay. Those are your 10.970. There it is. Right? Yeah. And then that's the actual radius of the drum. Well, let's just want to see where it touches yeah. first. Just a, there. See? Oh. And then it misses whoa, on the edge. Oh, man. So but, that's just, you have to, but that's quite a bit that's when cool, you think yeah. about it. No, that's cool. So that's that much surface area that you've lost. You're not using it. So, and there's, like we said, if it's riveted, especially, yeah, yeah. they get those little humps. Or sometimes these get a little waggly, so. I don't know, it's just nice. And it smells good. <laughs> oh, it does, yeah. That's a treat. It's a real treat. Just, just touches, so. Yeah. They don't look any different. Well, it sounds like you're taking a lot, oh, but yeah, you're really but not. No, not <laughs> yeah. Well, this thing's gonna not drive like, like new. Oh, it's great because if it goes like new, it'll stop like new. Yeah, there you go. There's okay, stock. Okay, let's see. Right. Whoa, Four, performance. Yeah, huge. Plus this, look at the air volume in here. And this 90 compared to this little squeeze bag. Oh yeah. See, this is like oh, a 1912 so this is 12. style. Well, it's not. Oh, okay. It's a repop, it's a but of, yeah. they call it the high flow manifold. But 1912, that's the one that everybody is after. But you can see the difference. It's huge. Like the yeah, volume, yeah, the amount yeah. of volume you get through there. Oh man, We're look at this elbow, just, eh? Am I gonna have to like buy bigger tires or what? <laughs> you have to buy more of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. And then we'll put a 1921 carburetor on it, I think. Yeah. Man. And uh, this, and uh, maybe shaved head, and yeah, you'll right. Be away we to have... the races. Thank you, gentlemen, for your you time today. Thank that you. was super fun. Yeah. So obviously, everybody subscribed to this channel <laughs> is already subscribed to Strong's Garage. Are they? Well, if you're not, you should be. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nobody subscribed to this show either. Right? So whatever. <laughs> That's fantastic. Model car crashing.
You bet, pal. Yeah, you got everybody take note how performancey that is. Well, you just wait. We'll, 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 we'll tweak and do some. I, I'm actually looking trickery. forward to. I want to do like some actual objective numbers before oh, and after. Yeah. Like yeah. we'll get the yeah. little time the, it. The G meter. Yeah, or whatever yeah. yeah. We'll nice. do that with the D. That'll, That'll be, be that. funny. Before and after. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And then all this stuff we might as well look at. Great. Okay. If I'm going to cruise with all the Model A kids, i got to right? at least be able to go 40 miles an hour. And your exhaust manifold. Okay. And uh, it's nice and flat, that one. And then we got um, transmission drums are all done. All bushings are new. Are you done drums? So that's ready to go in. Great. And uh, yeah, everything's sweet that way. The triple gears and the flywheels all rebuilt. New okay. uh, bushings right there. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, I'm really excited to put we this gotta thing together. we got to sort out a magneto. That's Should fun. be. We're trying to do a plug and play. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and then there's oh, a bunch if we of can bands. figure out the wiring harness. Well, we got a lot. This is just uh, <laughs> yeah. two wires, eh? <laughs> Which head is mine? Well, that's the one that's done for it, but I think we should do a high compression head, but yeah, this will be okay. Right on, whatever you decide. It's yeah. only a few bolts. It's only a couple of bolts. These are already done and cut, mm -hmm. and flattened, so that's ready. And there's your camshaft. And oh, yeah? Yeah. Let's see. There's how the oh, bearings yeah. go in, see? Oh. And this one, I measured it, it's, it's okay, but maybe we'll get a better cam. We'll see. Maybe better. I don't know. we got lots of this stuff around, so it's just one we put wow, aside. Wow, look at that. They're just pointy, eh? Yeah, that's yeah. flathead cam lobes, yeah. See, on an overhead, they're shaped like an egg. Yeah, yeah. And on flatheads, they're point. They just get in, get, get out. Get in, get out, yeah. Yeah. Don't waste no time. Cool. All right. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. I'll get out of your way. Yeah. And you let me know when I can come back and... Uh, sure, we'll get the rods back. Yeah. yeah. we got to make a couple of cutters for the rod machine. Yeah. Test it out on a few other rods. Right. It's a good excuse to get our tools fixed, eh? Yeah, right. We'll see everybody very soon, hey, Jim? Everybody, it's Jim's birthday, so leave a comment saying happy well, birthday to Jim. Oh, yeah. And yeah, send him some money. Another one, yeah, so. send him some money. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> My birthday, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thanks, of course, to Matt and Jim at Strong's Garage for having us out. Uh, please make sure to subscribe to those guys and that awesome show and that awesome shop. And I'll leave a link in the description. And uh, thanks also to uh, Matt's dad, Ken Hot, for uh, fixing up that uh, boring machine so that we could sort out my engine. That was very cool, and uh, I hope that it uh, comes in handy. Uh, also, thanks to their friend Derek, who poured the Babbitt. I haven't met Derek, but uh, I... Do appreciate it, buddy. Cheers. I uh, have been watching a gentleman working on his Model T, and he's making a speedster, and he's made some very excellent videos of the last several years of himself putting a garbage uh, Model T together. And he's made it into a very cool speedster, and uh, he's documented the process on his channel called Shed by the Tracks, and I'll leave a link, and, you know, it'd be really cool if we could all... Give him a little uh, shout out and a couple of subscribers and, you know, go there and encourage him to keep at it because I really do enjoy watching his show. Thanks as always to uh, everybody who subscribed to our show and for leaving a comment and a like button and all that type of thing. Uh, it really does help very much to uh, get the show out there. You know, I hate to keep bringing it up, but every time I do, uh, please uh, double check uh, that you're still subscribed if you think you are. And if you're not, uh, please give it a, give it a go doesn't cost anything obviously and uh, much appreciated if you tune in and watch the show every week and aren't subscribed those are the people I would ask there are lots of ways I could compromise what we're doing here to get more subscribers but after 13 years I really don't feel like compromising it and uh, as always uh, thanks so much to the patrons of the show who make it possible to keep it on the air uh, there's been a small number of people who've been really uh, carrying the the, uh, the torch here for several years and uh, anyway I don't like bringing it up but it would be uh, really cool if there was a few people who do look forward to this show and do watch it every week and do wait for it to come on and and watch it uh, the day it comes out you know if they would consider uh, helping to become uh, one of the people that do keep it on the air. Uh, uh, very much appreciated, and uh, anyhow, we will be back next week, and I'm uh, looking forward to getting some brakes on this Chev, and then we're not that far from going for a drive. This is a regular ah, Same old shit.
close my eyes for a while. Here I am now, running wild. I burn my brakes, strip my gears. Gonna have to run her down. I fear these. Let's go. Damn. 